FSU's College of Engineering might need to share their campus a little bit longer with some new feathered friends. At FSU Fencing Club, students of all kinds and all skill levels are encouraged to join. You don't even need to leave the house to get out of your comfort zone and try something new. And there's a certain amount of joy you get in that state where you're working that hard to overcome something. I'm getting goosebumps now talking about it. Inside Tully Gym, the FSU Fencing Club is gearing up and preparing for battle. Complete with weapons and masks, students are given the unique opportunity to stand on guard and experience a sport unlike any other. So my experience with fencing, at least before college, was really, really minimal. I had never fenced before I'd gotten to college. I chose fencing primarily as an exercise, but also to gain a new skill set. Fencers are not only putting their physical skills to the test. Students and coaches say that one of the most challenging and rewarding parts of fencing doesn't come from the swish of the blades. And in fencing, there's a certain amount of that. It's, it's really entirely focused on uh, bettering your own times. But you're always facing someone else who's giving you all, you know, all kinds of random challenges, things to adapt to. Students are also developing skills they'll be able to use off the fencing strip, including team building, focus, and endurance. Some say they joined purely because they couldn't find a reason not to. I was looking for a PE course to take, and they said, ooh, fencing, so I thought, you know what, why not? I've always wanted to be a pirate. And so then I started taking the class, and it wasn't just, you don't go into swords, like, right at week one. Eventually, we got it to blades, and I was so excited to finally hold a sword in my hand. I was like, yes. At FSU Fencing Club, students of all kinds and all skill levels are encouraged to join. Coaches like Ben lead classes each semester that any student can register for, regardless of physical ability. The longest running sport club at FSU has built a community supported by inclusivity, passion, and most importantly, fun. <laughs> Reporting for Seminole Showcase, I'm Jensen Kavern. <laughs> Outside, you'll find birds, foxes, turtles, and geese. FAMU FSU College of Engineering is a winter paradise for Canadian geese who have nested alongside students and researchers alike. They look for areas that are free of predators. They tend to nest at the corners of buildings um, and above our stairwells, which poses an interesting problem for us. These international students tend to get aggressive during mating season, causing safety hazards around busy entrances like the ones near the bus stop. Many students cite less than positive experiences with the geese. One time I had a bad experience with the goose. I was getting off the bus right over there at the bus stop and I was walking in those doors and it came flying at me. Austin isn't the only student that's had an encounter with the geese that proved to be a little too close for comfort. I've had many negative experiences with the geese. Probably every single day at the bus, especially freshman year, when you walk towards the building where their nest is right above you, they would fly and come and attack you every okay. single day. But like walking to the to and from school, it's kind of like a, a little landmine. FSU's College of Engineering might need to share their campus a little bit longer with some new feathered friends. Since the geese don't seem like they're going anywhere anytime soon, administration has taken extensive measures to curb geese presence by installing fake swans, lights, spikes, posters, and signage to keep both parties safe. <laughs> Reporting for Seminole Showcase, I'm Jensen Kavern. After Florida Governor Ron DeSantis issued statewide closures of all beaches, parks, and non-essential businesses in an effort to curb the spread of the coronavirus, many Floridians have to get creative with how and where they choose to exercise. Well, now that quarantine has closed all the gyms, uh, I've definitely been biking a lot more, running a lot more, uh, trying new things like the pogo stick and the unicycle, lifting weights in my garage, just anything to get out of the house and get active. As more dogs line the streets than ever before, quarantine restrictions are clearly not stopping families from building their own workouts. With all this free time, some are rekindling their love for long lost hobbies. Activism and active during this time in quarantine includes swimming, biking, and even kayaking. Being in the kayak has helped me enjoy the outdoors much more and has made me a happier person overall. You 
you don't even need to leave the house to get out of your comfort zone and try something new. Down and up. Indoor workouts are popping up all over social media sites like Instagram, allowing people to take part in ballet classes, yoga, and HIIT workouts without leaving the comfort of their homes. And as we continue to count the days in quarantine, people in every community are finding new ways to stay fit and find normalcy during a time with many uncertainties. Reporting for Seminole Showcase, I'm Jensen Kavern.